Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joseph Novichko, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's session outlook, we have a lot to talk about. Today's GDP data, and of course, not only for US or Europe, but also for Britain, as we can see uh, today, the fundamentals are very interesting. Let's start first with the uh, gross domestic product that firstly we saw uh, on uh, the data from Germany. We saw firstly coming out slightly below expectations and of course rather mixed data as uh, expected. So far what, what we can see on the euro versus the dollar uh, on the uh, trading board behind me, you can see that it's um, uh, moving just above the 50 exponential moving average. However, it's not yet confirmed, so we can actually suggest that it could actually test the 200 exponential on uh, the levels of 1.0670. This is where that exponential lies. So far, we would prefer to maintain our neutrality on it. Uh, the very curious thing here on the British pound versus the dollar was we see today in about half an hour to 50 minutes, uh, it's a slew of data coming out. Uh, we see the consumer price index, high volatility expected over there, the producer price index as well, uh, uh, also high volatility expected over there. And for now, uh, we can see that it's in a very long uh, uh, sideways direction uh, from above 1.26 down to 1.2470. Now that's uh, a range which once broken, of course, we could see some further directional movements. Uh, also, the uh, pair that we could see a bit of a downside today. This is the dollar versus the JP versus the Japanese yen. Uh, the uh, British, uh, the uh, U.S. currency had problems uh, breaking above the 113.90 area over there, and of course, it could be heading towards the uh, 113 uh, versus the yen. And this would be uh, uh, in the early stages of the uh, of the uh, European session. This is ahead of the Fed Chair Janet Yellen's speech, which we are going to see later into the US session as well. Uh, also, uh, uh, I need to go back to the euro versus the dollar. This is the gross domestic product for the eurozone. This is uh, one of the major fundamentals today. It's been about an hour and a half from here. Uh, so this is something that we're going to focus on. And of course, those would be the, the drivers mostly on these currency pairs today. Uh, uh, the, uh, just before we head to our final uh, instrument, this is crude oil. Firstly, let's have a look at gold price. We can see that it's uh, uh, moving in a very uh, narrow sideways direction. We can see that it's um, uh, having difficulties breaking above the 50 exponential and having a support around the 200 exponential. So it could be expected to move between that channel uh, for the early stages of the European session towards later European session, early US trading session as well. Oil prices, uh, we can see them stabilizing above the 50 to 60 area. Um, in the uh, previous session, as we can see, it's been uh, stable so far. Uh, it reached as low as uh, 50 to 70. Uh, right now is uh, breaking above the 50 exponential moving average. This is uh, from uh, the uh, beginning of the hourly session, as we can see, and it could head for the 5370 resistance, major resistance again towards the 54 30. Of course, that would be possible should the American Petroleum Institute shows its weekly bulletin to be uh, supportive for oil prices. This is uh, something that we are going to see later into the uh, session as well. That's all from the most important news of today, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, stay tuned to the major fundamentals. And of course, we will keep you up to date tomorrow again. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bye-bye.